Did you know John Cluck from Baseball Tonight is here? I know. He's the greatest. Wait. Oh, um, really? Huh. Thurb, I just found out. It's not Cluck. It's Carl Ravitch. You do realize that that's French for pencil neck. Oh, well, we're here, and that's pretty great. Now back to... What was his name again? Okay, thanks. Now back to Carl Ravitch in the booth. These are my two best friends, Phineas and Ferb. I love them. That's a term of endearment. Pencil neck? I love it. That's look, you, baby. Look at the folks in the... What in the world? <laughs> Can you imagine the horror? Oh, that one is the greatest. There he there is. There he is, the greatest. There's nothing pencil neck about him. All right, so after we got our clothes, we went... <laughs> <laughs> you guys Baseball are everywhere. Tonight, we're everywhere. You guys are everywhere. Just popping up. Baseball tonight. Oh, we got a little warming up going on in the Hawaii dugout. For the bullpen, actually, which which kind of doubles at the warning track. It's Kialo Ramos, the catcher. Campos has gone in to play shortstop. Haleski's in right field. And in order to use Ramos, he has to come out from behind the plate after three right. innings. He caught that three yeah. innings, and now he's warming up. Ready to go. Jared Morris in the number three hitter, struck out in the first. He's up. We got a good game. It's one nothing in the fourth inning. With the winner to advance and the loser to be eliminated. Dane Canachero's pitch driven to left field. And it's going to get down and it's going to go all the way to the wall. Shiloh Bamiaga picks it up. But a hard hit ball by Jared Morrison and a lead off double. On an inside fastball, Canachero wanted to throw it in. He, I think he made a perfect pitch. Morrison was right there with a very stro small stride and a stiff front leg that drove this ball by the left fielder on one hop for a two base hit. Good start here for Ohio as they try to add to that one nothing lead having not given up a hit. Bryce Couch didn't swing the bat in his first appearance. This time he does. He delivers his first hit of the World Series into center field. Around third comes Morrison. He scores and it's 2 nothing Ohio. It's a big hit for Couch, who had been 0 for 8 in the Little League World Series and a four hitter. You get him going, this team will be tough to stop. Fastball away, then he drives right up the middle. The story of the game has been the Robinson brothers, Ryan with a home run and Brooks throwing a no-hitter so far. 2-0 Ohio, chance to add to this lead with Robinson. Swinging foul off his foot, so he'll stay in the batter's box. This was the home run swing, Bobby. Yeah, Ryan Ryan Robinson has a home run swing every time. And once again, this Ohio team has very short strides so that they can get the foot down and get that front leg firm to allow them to open up their hips and throw the, throw the bat through the ball. And now with the warming up of Ramos, there's obviously a new catcher in there. That's Kamano. Bartolome, who we saw play catcher in the New Jersey game. Driven to left field and another hit for Ryan Robinson stopping at second base is Bryce Couch. Now the Robinson show is continuing. And for the folks who watched the game at the beginning, he saw a wonderful fastball thrown. And it was on the outside part of the plate by Kanashiro. Kanashiro. Now he's trying to move that ball inside, and this Ohio team can hit the inside fastball. Manager is she. Where's the last pitch? Where's the Huh? How high was it? Yeah, so so leave it up. And just hit your spots. Okay? Hey, no problem. Hit your spots. Let's go. Go. Now yeah, that ball was in, they thought it was a little up. Charlie Huff always said if it's above the knees, it's up. This is mid-thigh and it's inside. It's even a little higher than that, it's belt high. And that really is a sweet spot for many Little League hitters, especially on this Ohio team. 2 nothing Ohio, two men on. They've got three consecutive hits for Sam Scott. That ball is high, but too high to swing at. And Bobby, you talk, at, you talk about the size of this team from Ohio. A lot of, a lot of big guys. This one is certainly one of them at 5'8", 167 pounds. Very intimidating 
force from, from Ohio. They're all over 5'6", they weigh over 150 pounds. They keep walking on up there, and you have, you have a big strike zone as a pitcher, but you also know a mistake can wind up over the fence. Couch is on second. Ryan Robinson with his second hit is on first, and a chance for Ohio to break it open with one swing. Good block by Bartolome behind the plate. Very, very important to have that catcher back there, not let the ball get to the backstop. We have two balls, one start. 54 pitches from Kaneshiro. His 55th is a big one given the fact that he's behind 2-1, and one, trailing 2-0 in the game. And there are two men on for Ohio. The pitch to Scott. The ball misses, it's blocked, and now the count goes to 3-1. and one. You would think that we need a fastball in this count, 3-1. and one. They don't have their two best pitchers, Bobby, and Shackers and Baniaga. One is eligible tomorrow, which again with the win is important against Georgia. The 3-1 off the plate, and it's going to stay foul. It's a good fastball. It beats, it beats Sammy a little in a 3-1 count. Sam Scott's up there now with no outs, thinking about another fastball he's going to get and how he could be on time. And Andrew Yoshi sends the signal in. Big pitch in this game, 3-1 to Sam Scott. Fouls it off, and the count goes full 3-2. He was on time for the fastball, but he threw him a 3-2 curveball. Just off the end of the bat. Little coaches conference. Talk. Right here. Just battle, head, still move it. Come on. That's that small stride that they like to teach so that the head isn't moving. Just said, your head is still moving. Calm it down. A double, a single, and a single in this inning. Fastball is high, ball four, bases are loaded. Well, I guess Reynolds is warmed up in the bullpen. Trying if she's going to have to make a decision here. Ramos is, is ready like the running of the Bulls to come through that gate, but the bases are loaded. Infield in. They're going to let Conoshero pitch to Tyler Hanna. Foul back, and... Caught there. Great catch by Bartolome. The substitute catcher comes in and makes an unbelievable catch. This is one of those swings where the ball heads back toward the screen and then will come back towards home plate as it's spinning down. Fine catch as he slides at the warning track to make this play. Wonderfully done for a big first out of the inning. Now that it feels in double play depth, they get to move back. Brooks Robinson comes up. He's the pitcher. Good block by Bartolome. We, we talk a lot about pitching depth. How about catching depth? You know, it's amazing when you could do this, but once again, he's a first string catcher on his his team and right. second string catcher here on this all-star all -star team. That one is outside. Brooks Robinson, who saw his brother hit a home run in the second inning to give the team from Hamilton, Ohio, a one nothing lead, now has a chance to really help his own cause. He hasn't given up a hit yet. Ohio's got five in the game. The bases are loaded here. Well, taking a strike. After two breaking balls, he took a fastball right down the middle. So I guess we're getting, are we getting Jekyll or are we getting Hyde? This like, looks like it's Jekyll out here, the team that scored 16 first time out. A 2-1 to Tyler Hanna. Oh, look out. That one almost got him. I should say Brooks Robinson, now 3-1. and one. No anxiety on the Robinson family. And bases loaded is the most anxious offensive uh, formation for families and friends. 3-1 in there for a called strike. Now anxious for the family of the guy at the back. That'd be really a tough time for this for Mrs. Conoshero watching Dane out there. Might be the pitch of the game here. Does he, she, the manager, call this breaking ball? Or does he call a fastball? 3-2, fastball, it's gonna go out of play. There you go. Or does he come back with a fastball one more time? We had three and two count, fastball down the middle. Here it is, let's hit it. Major Ishii will signal this 
sign into his catcher. Big decision. It's a little different sign than it was last, I believe. Unless it's just that right cheek that means fastball. The 3-2. Driven to right center field. It is deep. Off the wall. The runners are all punched up on the bases. In comes Couch. Robinson comes in. Here's your play. Blocked at the plate. Safe. And advancing to second and third of the runners from Ohio. Two runs come across and the pitcher delivers. It's 4-0. Bricks Robinson had a fastball on three and two, fouled it fastball again, and did not foul this one off. Drove it into center field, one hop off the wall. He wasn't sure how to take his turn and where his other base runners were. As this relay comes in, Powell, a cow gets it, throws it home, almost bang, bang. Ball gets there a little late. To score the runs, and we have a pitching change. So a two-run single, they advance to second and third, and Brooks Robinson delivers two runs to help his own cause. Ohio leads Hawaii 4-0 in this elimination game, and we have a new pitcher coming in, Kialo Romas. Here's the play at the plate. Bartolome did everything he could do. He made a great catch earlier in the inning, tried to block the plates, but the ball got away. And maybe the game's getting away.